So Google just released a new model called Gemma 3 with 270 million parameters. This is the smallest Gemma model to date and this is so compact and very efficient to the point that you can run the model on a phone that was released more than 10 years ago. So it doesn't need very powerful CPU or GPU, basic phone can even do it. In fact, uh, this model is also very power efficient and Google have done some testing and according to them, this model can do up to 25 conversations and will only consume less than 1% of the battery, which is a really good indication that this model can run pretty much on even a basic smartphone these days. So let me show you how you can download the model and how you can run it locally on your phone so you can have access to a an offline AI chatbot and not to mention it is not collecting your data. So here's how you can do it. First, let's open your Android phone and let's open a browser. And then you want to search uh, on Google using the keyword Google AI Edge Gallery. So this is the name of an app that is still being developed by Google. Uh, it is not yet in Play Store, but I think it will be at some point in the future. But right now, uh, in order to download the app, we have to open the GitHub page uh, that is actually being provided by Google. Just open this page. And we want to download the APK of this app. Let's scroll down, scroll down, and right here in the Get Started in Minutes sections, you can click this button to download the APK. And after that, we can install the app on our phone so the size is only about 100 megabytes and later i'll show you how you can install it okay so the app has been downloaded i'm going to open it so usually if you are doing this for the first time there is a good chance that it might reject installing the app unless if you actually give permission so in this case i have to navigate the settings and I have to allow to install an app from this source, which is Google Chrome. And after that, we can install the Edge Gallery app. This will take about several seconds and we can launch the app afterward. There you go. So let's open the app and you'll see something that look like this. And basically, if you want to use the app as a chatbot, you can navigate to AI chat. And these are some models that you can download right away. But uh, there is no Gemma 3 with 270 million parameters, at least at the moment. So we actually have to load the model from our phones. And that means we have to download the model via browser. So let's go back to the browser again. And still on that GitHub page, we can actually get the latest model via this Hugging Face Light RT community. Just click that link. And basically, this is the community that is working on making some models like DeepSeek, the Gemma model, and some other models out there to be compatible and able to run with the Google AI Edge Gallery app. And here you want to scroll down. And basically, we, you want to find the model called Gemma 3 with 270 million parameters. And I think this is the one that we can download. So there is Gemma 3 with 270 million parameters. And the last IT here is really just the abbreviation of instruction, which means the model is very good at following instructions, which is exactly the point of this model, at least according to Google. Now, just click this option and navigate to files. And here you'll see there are several files, but we actually only need one. So there is something here that you need to know that if you want to download a model then and you want to use it on Google AI Edge Gallery, you have to download the model with the .tas extension or the .tas format. It is .task. So the easiest way to find that model is by clicking this search icon and type .tas. And there you go. So we have two options in this page. There is the web version and then there is the regular version. So the web version is actually much more uh, akin for developer usage because this model is made to be compatible to run on a web browser. So we want to use it on the app and that's why we want to download this regular version. Okay, now you can click the download button. So just wait for the model to be downloaded. Uh, as far as I know, the model size is only about 300 megabytes. So it's very small and it might be even smaller than some apps out there. So I'll be back after it has finished downloading the app and I'll show you the next thing that you can do. 
all right so the model has been downloaded if i open the files uh, the files up on my phone if i navigate to the downloads folder i should be able to find that model so the gemma 3 model and now we can load this model into the google ah H gallery app let's open the app again and you can click this option uh, the plus button and then click from local model file and let's select Gemma 3 with 270 million parameters. Now there are some settings that you can adjust, but usually the default setting is just good enough for a lot of people. And now I do recommend to enable both CPU and GPU. On some phones you can use the GPU, but on some other phones you can only maybe use CPU to run the model, but that's totally fine. Let's click import. And now we can actually start using the model locally on Android phone via this app. Let's navigate to AR chat. And you'll see these options that says Gemma 3 with 270 million parameters. Just open it. And just wait for the model to be initialized. There you go. So we can start chatting with this AI completely offline. So let's say I want to send a message like, hello there. And we'll get the answer. Okay, it's running on CPU. Okay, it's definitely not the smartest model. Of course, it is only 270 million parameters, but again, it should be good enough for simple tasks like summarizing email or uh, providing bullet points or sentiment ne uh, negative, uh, sorry, sentiment uh, assessment. And also you can use it to rewrite a message or stuff like that. So some basic stuff, this AI can do it just fine. Now, uh, this model, at least on my phone, is running via CPU. On some phones, you can actually switch to GPU, but usually it's not always uh, possible because some models or some uh, GPUs on some phones are not compatible to run some models, which in this case is true for my phone because it's just very old. That's why it is not able to use the GPU, but at least I can still use the AI model via CPU just fine. And so that's basically how you can download the Gemma 3 270 million parameters and operate it locally on your android phone thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead